What's up, EuroLeague fans? Welcome to the seventh episode of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. Today, we have a very special guest, one of the most dynamic and one of the best scoring guards of all of EuroLeague, Panathinaikos own Nemanja Nedovic. Neto, what's up, man? How's everything? What's up, Kyle? Uh, thanks for having me on your show. Uh, I'll be following you since the beginning. And I think you're doing a great job. Uh, I think I'm just happy to, to be with you today. And hopefully I can, I can give some good answers. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you, uh, you know, taking this time out of your busy schedule. Now, um, you know, you suffered, you know, an injury a little while ago. So, you know, give the, give the EuroLeague fans an update. You know, how are you doing? How's your condition? And, and when can we all see you back on the court um, soon? Uh, yeah, uh, the injury happened right before the Olympiacos game was mm -hmm. big 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 pity for me i really was looking forward to the derby you know you play yeah. many good derbies <laughs> nothing like it man so nothing you know like it. How, yeah you know how important those games are for the fans especially and then for the team so i was a little bit disappointed that i couldn't i couldn't play in that game but you know rehab is going fine uh at the beginning we thought it was it was like a small uh, calf pull but it's a little bit more so i'm still recovering and hopefully I will be able to, to help uh, my team in, in uh, the next, next, next few games. And we, we wish you best of luck with your recovery. And we're all you know, looking forward to you know, seeing you on the court very, very soon. Thanks. Hopefully. Appreciate it. Now, when the, when the opportunity arose for you this summer to join such a prestigious club like Panthenecos, you know, what were your feelings? What were your thoughts? Uh, yeah, well, I kind of... I kind of listened to myself, you know, uh, mm -hmm. from the beginning, since the contact with uh, with Panathinaikos was made and my agent told me about it, uh, my feeling uh, was was pretty good. I felt mm -hmm. some kind of somehow connected to the team already. And, yeah. you know, after I talked to, to the coach, to everybody in the front office, uh, that feeling got even stronger. So let's say the first time I only listened to myself and my what my feeling was telling me. So... I made the decision myself, and so far, so good. I think it was it was the right decision to, let's say, uh, prove myself again, uh, to get back on the level that were uh, that where I was, let's say, two three years ago. And you know, I'm just uh, looking forward to 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 finishing this season in the in the right shape, in the right way, and enjoy. So far, so good. Like I said. Yeah, man, I agree. I, mean, I think it was, uh, you know, a great decision. Um, now, you know, walking into Oka every day and to see those six EuroLeague championship banners, you know, you know, in the in the arena hanging it up, does that add any any pressure to you? Um, you know, to your teammates, you know, to to fulfill the, I guess, the historical, you know, the history of the club. Do you do you feel the presence, you know, of, I guess, of the ghost of the, you know, the team and the history of the club when you walk into the arena? For sure, for sure. Like you said, every every day we walk into the gym for practice, we see those banners up there, and you know, it just makes you realize how big this 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 club uh, really is. Like even if it, even if it's a year of rebuilding and uh, of starting something new, uh, you still feel the, the 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 size of this of this team. Uh, you still feel the crazy support. You know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? How passionate the Greek people are about basketball. And even if they cannot come to the gym and support us, like just walking outside, people would stop you and just show you how much they appreciate you, how much they uh, support you. And it's, it's really a, a, a great honor and for sure some kind of pressure, but I think positive pressure that you need in order to, to compete on the highest level with great teams like, like uh, the teams that are in EuroLeague this year. Definitely. Definitely. Now, Panathinaikos added, like you said, a kind of a rebuilding stage, added a bunch of new players. How long did it take for you guys to develop chemistry? And then talk about, you know, you and, you know, Papa Giannis, you know, Big Papa, you guys have formed, you know, one of the, the best duels in all of your league. So, you know, as a point guard in the center, you know, talk about, you know, that chemistry you guys have built together. Right, right. Uh, yeah, we needed, we needed some time. We needed, like, let's say two, three months to, to figure it out, to get to know each other. Uh, you have more experience than me, but you know, changing teams and uh, changing cities—it's it, not always so smooth. It's not always uh, easy as it looks. So mm -hmm. we need uh, we need a couple of months, but I think uh, we're in uh, in good shape now. Uh, we're coming off uh, 
two wins in a row. First time this season that we have two wins in a row in in Euroleague. So we just have to keep building. Uh, we changed also the coach, so you know it's 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 always a challenge uh, for the team to adapt to to the new uh, playing style, to the new coach. But as I said, <clears throat> everybody works together. Everybody's on the same page, and lately we've been we've been doing really good. And regarding me and Pop, man, it's it's so easy when you have such a big guy down uh-huh. there. And if he sets a good screen, it's either him or me open. And if if, yeah. like, if if two guys stay on me, like you just have to throw it up. He will go go get it wherever you throw it. So it's it's pretty pretty easy to play with him. Now coming into the season, you know everybody knows about you know the injuries that you, know, that you had you know in the past you know with you know here in Milan and, and other places. To me, it seemed like you kind of came into this season with a, a different mentality. You came with kind of like a chip on your shoulder. Um, you know, am I right in saying that? You know, because you came out, you got some big scoring games and some you know some really big games. It seemed like you know you you wanted to prove you know prove the people that you know that you belong. Um, yeah. So am I am I right by you know am I right by saying that? Yeah, you're completely right. I really have had a different mentality since day one, since the day I got here to Panathinaikos. And really, I set the tone from, from day one of, of training camp. And like I said, I, wanna, I want to prove that I belong to the top, uh, that I belong to the elite guards of this league. And, uh, you know, definitely a chip on my shoulders. Uh, you know, this uh, coronavirus situation that, uh, that hit us everybody really hard uh, mm-hmm. in some way helped me because by ending the season early last year, I had more time to prepare for this season. I had uh, more yeah. time to work on my body, and I can, I can, I can remember really when I had this this time off mm-hmm. to to really focus on my on my recovery, on my physical physical shape, and it really helped me coming into the season. Athens is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, you know. So talk about you know how you enjoy living there, you know how how have you been spending your time and. You know, let's talk about the city in general. I love it. I really love Athens. I really love the the mentality of the people here. Mm-hmm. You know, when I came to Panathinaikos, the, one of the first things they told me, like, you will feel the the family atmosphere that's mm-hmm. that's around this team, that's uh, around this club, and that's one one thing that I would like to 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 point out. It's just a family feeling that they got going on mm-hmm. here. And you know, Athens, you lived here, so. Uh, you know, this virus is, is, is messing things a little bit up because it's still yeah. some kind of lockdown. Everything is closed. But if I'm enjoying my time here in this situation, I can only imagine how much I would enjoy it if, if everything was open. So I'm really looking forward to, to, to things to get better, uh, to stores and restaurants to get open so we could enjoy mm-hmm. and And uh, as much as this city deserves to be enjoyed. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I, from experience, man, you're gonna you're gonna love it. You're gonna enjoy yeah, it, man. You're sure, definitely gonna sure. have a a great time, man. Sure. Now, you you mentioned the, the the COVID pandemic, and one of the things that for all of us that we're missing is the the fans. And you know, especially in Oka, you know, that atmosphere is legendary. You know, to it, it feels weird to walk in there without any fans. But how much have the fans, you know, been giving you their support, you know, off the court when they have seen you, you know, out in the city or out and about? Yeah, it's been it's been weird. I think for everybody, uh, for you guys, it's been weird that uh, the, the 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 fans could not come to the games. Uh, at least in some games, we have our families in the stands, so it makes it uh, <laughs> makes it uh, let's say a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. But yeah, definitely the the support that uh, Panathinaikos usually has in the games is is this year is missing. So we basically miss one more player. Like I think yeah. the support that the Panathinaikos fans make is is helping is helping this team a lot. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. It's a situation that we all have to uh, deal with. Like I said, I see that uh, things are going in the, in the right direction as uh, as far as as this virus goes. And you know, hopefully in the next couple of months, if not next couple of months, hopefully from next season we would we would have the the fans in the stands and we could all enjoy this game. Uh, as we should so yeah but like I said whenever I walk out whenever I I uh, go for a coffee or something people stop me people mm-hmm. uh, congratulate on a good win on a good game and I really feel that the, the how passionate how passionate the, the great people are about basketball and about Panathinaikos now this has been one of the busiest transfer or signing periods, you know, of Euroleague history. You know, starting from the summer even till you know up to right right down this moment. 
Has there been one signing, you know, that has surprised you that is what made you look and, you know, maybe double take at your phone or at Twitter or something like that? Uh, if I have to choose one, uh, okay, you guys did amazing signings. So <laughs> you guys really killed the transfer window in the summer. But if I have to pick one, uh, if I have to pick one signing, it was this last signing of Pau Gasol in Barcelona. Agree, it's agree, what, agree. It's, agree. It's what really uh, surprised me. And I was like refreshing Twitter to see more news about it. Yeah. You know, they already have a, have a loaded squad and adding Pau, an experienced superstar legend, Hall of Famer, whatever you want to call it, is, is just big. And, uh, you know, it's it's a good good thing for the, for the league. It will uh, it will be huge for the league, and uh, I really looking for I'm really looking forward to, to to play against him, and you know hopefully I will be able to to have a good game against him. Agree, man. Agree. I'm looking forward looking forward to it too. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be yeah, a fun challenge. For sure. be, before before we end the quarter, um, a message to the Euroleague fans out there. Obviously, like we said, we know we we're not we don't get opportunities to play in front of them, and this has been you know a different year um, because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. But just a message to the EuroLeague fans. What would you have to say to them if you could speak to them? Well, the situation has been tough for everybody, uh, but at least we had the chance through social media or different different kind of uh, uh, media to interact uh, with the fans, and they've been really showing love since day one of of, of this, uh, let's say, different season than than everything else. Uh, we really appreciate appreciate you. We're really looking forward to to having you in the stands. And of course, uh, first of everything, uh, we, we wish you health. We wish health to you and your families. And hopefully we can see each other soon in, in the basketball arenas and we can enjoy basketball. You know, man, I, I appreciate you taking the time. Um, you know, it was it was great always talking to you. Great always, you know, co conversating with you. Um, you know, man, it's, it's funny, even funner, you know, to compete against you, man. You're definitely one of the toughest guards, you know, in all your league. And man, I wish you um, the best. Man, I wish you a speedy recovery. And I think, you know, I speak... You know, for all the EuroLeague players and all the fans out there, and we look forward to you know seeing you on the court very soon. You know, competing um, and doing what you do best. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on your show. I really appreciate it. I wish uh, also help to you and your family, to your team. And you know, we still have to play each other in Athens, so I will see you soon. <laughs> all right, man. Take care, man. Yes, sir. EuroLeague fans, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. We look forward to talking to you guys very soon. Check out the next episode coming soon.